After making bricks, the people of the Shin'ar Valley intend to use them to build a city and a tower with its top in the heavens. Modern excavations in Mesopotamia have supplied us with a key for understanding this mysterious tower. Most probably, it should be identified with the structure known as the ziggurat. A ziggurat is a terraced step tower, similar in shape to a pyramid. Ziggurats were erected inside Mesopotamian temple complexes. The word ziggurat, or more precisely zikurat, is derived from the root zakar, meaning to project or to stick up. In this connection, it reflects the prominent and lofty nature of these structures. Mesopotamian ziggurats reached an average height of about 50 meters, and their bases on average took up about 2,000 square meters. Due to their height and unique shape, the ziggurat structures rose up above the skyline of most important Mesopotamian cities. The first ziggurats are known to us from roughly 2200 BCE, and the latest survived until as late as around 500 CE. This means that ziggurats were a trademark of Mesopotamian civilization throughout its history. The core of most ziggurats was built from dried bricks while the outer structure was made of fired bricks. Inside, there was a single large space rather than inner rooms. In some of the ziggurats, the top was reached via outer staircases or a spiral ramp. In others, no means of reaching the top have been discovered. Some scholars have theorized that a cultic shrine for divine worship stood at the top of the ziggurat. However, there are currently no archaeological remains to support this uh, theory. Sometimes trees and bushes were planted along the slopes of the ziggurats for ornamental purposes. So this tablet is proof that sometimes the smaller tablets are more intriguing than the larger, more impressive ones. So what we have is uh, a drawing of a stepped tower, a ziggurat. So on this side of the tablet we have three, maybe four stories preserved, and there are another two on the other side. And uh, the ones on the other side have a staircase. It might be an architect's drawing, a kind of scale model of, of something for a real, genuine, practical purpose. It's rather intriguing to think that there might be a, a whole dossier of these architect's drawings somewhere, but this appears to be a, a practical drawing of some sort with measurements, and it gives you what, what would have been the, the seven stories of uh, a temple tower somewhere. To date, the remains of more than 30 ziggurats have been discovered in Mesopotamia and its surroundings. None of them have survived to their full height. The best preserved one is the great ziggurat of Ur. For our purposes, the most interesting ziggurat is that of the city of Babylon, because the biblical story tells us that the tower was located in the city of Babylon, in Hebrew, Babel. Only the foundations remain of the great ziggurat of Babylon. Yet some information about this beautiful structure can be gleaned from textual sources. The name of the ziggurat of Babylon was Et-Temen-An-Ki, Sumerian house foundation platform of heaven and the underworld. Scholars estimate that it was seven stories high. The ziggurat of Babylon was probably established at the end of the second millennium BCE. Over time, it was expanded and renovated by various Babylonian kings. Nebuchadnezzar II, known for the destruction of the first temple in Judah, had the top part decorated with turquoise tiles. In Nebuchadnezzar's days, the ziggurat of Babylon was part of a grandiose complex which included a magnificent temple area, the famous Ishtar Gate, and the splendid processional way of Babylon. The ziggurat of Babylon was probably destroyed during the Persian era. Later, the Greek ruler Alexander the Great attempted to restore it. The first stage of the planned renovation involved the removal of all the old bricks and remains from the site. Unfortunately, the project was abandoned soon after completing this initial stage. 
Alexander's endeavor thus resulted in more harm than good. The high quality bricks and tiles of the ziggurat's exterior were reused by the locals for other purposes. When modern archaeologists excavated the site, they only found the foundations of this once magnificent ziggurat.